Now, the last thing I'd like to talk about today is your ability to change. Did you realize that we wake up in a brand new world every single morning just because of technology and the world just passes so fast? It is moving in, in whirlwind speed. And the question here is, if your corporation needs to move at whirlwind speed and have change initiatives come through to keep from being obsolete, because you know you can be fine one month and the next month you're obsolete, that's what the 21st century brings us. So what you want to do is to be quick with change. And the question is, how can your company change and be effective as it moves in and out of what has to be done in the 21st century? How can they move quickly to stave off obsolescence if you're moving slowly and if they are bringing you kicking and screaming into all of these change initiatives. So to be employable in the 21st century, you want to be a change agent. You want to be someone who is a thought leader when it comes to change. And you want to be able to, what I call, put your hands on the outside. Now let me explain that. I was doing work for Fort Benning, you know, home of the 101st Airborne. And as I was teaching them about leadership, I learned a little bit about how that raw recruit approaches this open door of opportunity to make his first jump. Why anyone would want to leave a perfectly safe airplane when it's you know, going 250 miles an hour at 2,000 feet in the air, that's a mystery to me. Why anyone would want to leave that airplane? And it's a mystery unless you're a psychologist or a jump master. Now, what you observe when you watch these raw recruits is that there are two kinds of raw recruits. Number one, you have the raw recruit who does the hesitation step, getting up to that open door of opportunity. And when they get there, they put their hands on the inside where they have been told not to put them. If they look anywhere, they look down. Now tell me, how is this raw recruit going to leave the plane? Yeah, they're kicked out by the jump master, which is not optimal. Now, after you see a few of those raw recruits leave the plane in that manner, you get another type of raw recruit. You see someone who walks up with determination to leave that plane on their own power. So when they walk up to that open door of opportunity, they put their hands on the outside. Then they find a friendly cloud, no looking down. They find that friendly cloud for their goal. They give a giant leap, they do the proper count, and they pull the ripcord. And they have a wonderful experience landing down on the ground. Now, wouldn't that be wonderful if it really were that simple? There was one young raw recruit who had done all the necessary training. He had packed his own parachute. He knew how to jump. He knew how to free fall. He knew how to land on the ground. And he had been told that there would be a truck on the ground to pick him up. So he goes to that open door of opportunity with all the confidence in the world, and he puts his hands on the outside. He finds his friendly cloud. He gives a giant leap. He does the proper count, and he pulls a ripcord. Nothing happens. He tugs a little harder, still free falling. Then he begins jerking on that uh, ripcord, and he mutters, oh well, this is the army. There probably won't be a truck down there to pick me up either. Now what I'd like to, and how I'd like to relate this to the 21st century work world is that you have to put your hands on the outside. You have to welcome change. You have to be that change agent. Every single morning when you wake up is an open door of opportunity. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, I want you to put your hands on the outside of the covers, give a giant leap, and go out and eat change for breakfast.